Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I wanted to hop on here and share with you some happy mail that I've received and some things that I purchased uh, just so I can get it off my table. <laughs> I always like to pile my happy mail up and um, before I show it in videos so that I can, you know, show it and, you know, so people can see what I got and I can, a lot of times people like to see when they send stuff to me that I got it. <laughs> If, like, I don't have a way to contact them. Anyways, <laughs> long story short, or whatever that saying is, I need my table for sewing, and all this stuff was piled on there. So I got cleared off. Anyways, I got quite a bit of it, so I'm going to um, start showing it to you guys so I can put it where it goes. <laughs> so first I got, or this is in no order, but this is just doing the little things first and then going up. But, uh, so for the, like, letters, I got a postcard from our all of our friend Barbara, who uh, lives on sailboat. Some of the time, and some of the time it is in Florida. Uh, this one, this is from Orlando. Ooh, it's a little glary. And she want me to note on there. She's always so nice and sweet. I keep meaning to go to my local um, chamber of commerce or whatever it's called to get some postcards from my town because they sell them there to send out to like her and to some other people. But I keep forgetting. I need to go do that. But anyways, it's just a pretty Orlando. I would love to go to Florida. Um, like, I'd love to go down there to meet some of the people that I know from Florida and maybe get oranges. <laughs> I love Florida oranges. Uh, my mother-in-law's uncle lives down there, and every Christmas time he sends up a bunch of oranges, and they're so good. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, on to the next one. <laughs> this next one is, like, a thank you card that I got from, uh, I think she was, I think she won one of the, the giveaways that I do for my sister's shop. Her name is Jackie. And uh, so she just sent me like a little thank you card. And uh, yeah, she's the one that I made a Christmas bag for. I sometimes forget. <laughs> but it's like really thick, sturdy envelopes. Really nice. It's like a, um, I forgot I had a sticker in it. It's like a actual stationary kit. And she sent me a Grinch sticker. I forgot about that until just now. So that's, that's, that's almost at that side. I remember I opened it when I got it and then I forgot. Because <laughs> that happens. Alright, so next I also, I, men I mentioned recently that I was started the um, the Bag of Day Sesame Street Crochet Along Blanket that she made uh, a few years ago. And uh, I was short Count Dracula's yarn. I have one of his little heads. And Oscar the Grinch. And so, uh, unbeknownst to me, Terry at Android Podcast had actually purchased those for me and sent them the mail i also made i had made a, a like an arrangement trade <laughs> i'm about to drop a pile of fabric at home with uh, another person through my email that she had some yarn that she's wanted to, de to de stash and it just happened to have the two yarns that i needed and uh so i was like yeah i'll take them and she also had spring green she was gonna send me to uh in trade for a bag a drawstring bag so i was like yeah okay we'll do that so so i got it from terry and from the other person I'm not saying their names. I don't know if they want their name said. <laughs> but Terry from Yarn Joy. So she sent me. These are hers. <laughs> I left them in the bag. So here's the Count Dracula. If I, my voice sounds kind of off today. I'm not feeling too good right now. Just women issues. <laughs> and uh, so I'm not 100% here. And here's Oscar. I always call him Oscar the Grinch. But it's Oscar the Grouch. I mean he is Grinchy too. <laughs> so. Um, but I told Terry. Um. From your enjoy podcast, I was like, it's okay that I got both of them because um, I want to make the blanket bigger so I can use the uh, the extras because I also have extra cookie monster, some extra ammo, and an extra big bird. Uh, I was gonna make other squares too, so I can maybe make mixed up squares with a couple colors in them and also incorporate it into the border so they'll get used. But then, so also, I got the uh, been, I said that weird. <laughs> Here's the other Oscar. <laughs> And the other count. And then she, the other lady also sent me three spring greens, which is amazing because they've been hard for me to find. Second one. And here's the third one. So now I have my favorite green. I did buy that one Karen, um, my trash can's covering it. One pounder. And it is a good, like, stand-in for spring green, but it's not the same, you know? So I'm glad to have those. So I got to make her bag this week and send it off to her along with the other winners and uh then the regular bags for the shop all right so i think that's everything other than the stuff that i bought and the bigger package i got so let me move these yarns 
I'm sorry if it's all over the place. I'm not feeling good. <laughs> I know I've already mentioned that, but okay. So I got a package from Mary. I'll, she's told me in the past that I can say her name. So she's, she has sent me stuff before and it's usually fabric and then some other little goodies. So I'm going to show you the other goodies first and then the fabric. <laughs> so I get it off my lap because it's kind of heavy. But she sent me two packages of these. I've never um, done these, but I have seen them before. They are transfer artist paper and it's iron on image transfer sheets. And on the back it says you can inkjet, print, paint, stamp, or draw images onto it. And then iron it onto almost anything, including glass and wood and uh, like clothing. So she sent me two packs of those that looks like she got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. So those are cool. I have never done anything like that, so I might see about doing something like that like this with my sister. I mean her can mess around with these. Um because I'm my printer I don't think is an inkjet. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. But this is the, also the card that came with Mary's uh package. <laughs> But she also did send me an Amazon gift card, which was so nice of her and, you know, like never expected at all, but I've already spent it. <laughs> and when it comes, it's supposed to come Wednesday. I will show you guys what I got. It's all crafty stuff. So I took advantage of her sending this and I was going to use it on stuff that I wouldn't have otherwise bought myself uh, because I feel bad spending money on myself. <laughs> but uh, so I super appreciate that. And then she also sent in there two of the little sewing squares. This one is a four by four one that also looks like she got a good deal on and this one is I think a two and a half about two and a half and it says great for our perfect size for jelly rolls <laughs> so those and then they're really pretty zipper it's like a silver shimmery one and then a little bit I'm not sure I haven't measured it but of gray uh, shimmery cotton webbing and the pink shimmery cotton webbing and then some fabric so now I'm gonna show you the fabric because it's heavy <laughs> It was hurting my leg. All right, so she sent some Halloween prints, which are really cute. This one, I think I've had this before, and if I did, I bet you she sent it to me. I feel like I made this last year or the year before that, but it's gnomes, and they're like trick-or-treating. Super cute. And then there's these sunglasses, or glasses, I guess. They're glasses. Some of them are sunglasses. That's not Halloween print. <laughs> but uh, bats, I thought this one was cute. When I saw this, I thought of Heather, the crafty, uh, the crochet witch, <laughs> because she likes bats. Uh, and then this one I thought was funny. It's eyeballs. And then this one I have had before. I've actually bought some of this and I've been gifted it. But it's just really pretty like gardeny print. And then there's this pretty um, dark like uh, gray. What's it called? Grayscale <laughs> uh, flowers. I think those are sunflowers. And then there's this uh, like quilt, quilty patchworky looking print and then this cute little polka dot print <laughs> it's rainbow polka dots and then i have i've purchased this print before too ah, if i can hold it <laughs> it's succulents and then there's some pretty shimmery gray um print <laughs> and then there's pretty green be pretty liner and she sent me some of this print before too because i recognize it it's like cats with computers <laughs> And then this is like, uh, looks like typewriter font. <laughs> and this one says, good dog, it's got bones on it. And then there's two of these panels, and each of these panels make two little tote bags. So she sent two of those. They're just pretty like peacock colors, and they make um, two tote bags. And then this is like a, a, a print that goes along with that, but it's like a, just a bigger piece of that print. So that's everything Mary sent. That's a lot of stuff. So thank you so much, Mary. I, uh, I, I am planning on sending you a thank you card. I just haven't done it yet because <laughs> I haven't felt good. I have a few people I gotta send thank you cards to that I'm slacking on, but I'm working on it. And these last prints are here I bought myself. Um, a couple of them were like, uh, what are they called? I forgot the, what word I'm looking for. <laughs> What's it called? When you see it and you just buy it because you see it. I forgot what that word is. <laughs> Anyways, I went to Hobby Lobby to buy two uh, specific print, two specific prints for other people. And then I ended up buying uh, other ones. So this is one that I bought for someone. Oops, is it for them? That uh, I'm, making them a, I'm making them a bag out of it and then I'll have enough to make another bag out of. That one. Same thing that I just said for this one. 
making someone a bag out of this and they don't have enough to make another bag as well. And then these other two were impulse. That's the word I was looking for. This these other two were impulse bags because they were on sale. These are fall prints, so they were on sale. I just thought it was cute with this the uh sunflowers and the mushrooms and stuff. So cute. And this one, farm prints are always popular <laughs> when I make bags, and it was on sale, so I grabbed a yard of it. And it's just got like a fall uh farming prints. <laughs> And actually, I actually got extra by accident. The girl who cut it, and I didn't notice it until I got home. And I was opening them to refold them the way I like them folded. But then June messed them up, so I got dirty again anyways. Um, I opened it up, and a hunk fell out. That must have been, you know how they fold over the ends and um, pin it onto the bolts? It must have been that piece that um, she accidentally cut off as well. So I got my yard. But plus, I got about, I think, it's like a half a yard. Right here. <laughs> For free, which I kind of feel bad about, but I mean, I'm not driving all the way back. <laughs> but it's like a whole half a yard. It's folded. Um, so that's another bag worth of fabric. And then I also bought a panel for for me to make for something to hang in my house. <laughs> it's a Grinch. This was another impulse I saw. Like Hobby Lobby, they have finished projects hanging up at the end of the aisles so that you can get like an idea and to make you want to buy stuff. And it worked. So I bought this one. It's a Grinch one. It's pretty big. But you make it, you make it like, basically like a, you get a backing fabric and then you get uh, some batting and put in between it and you quilt them together. Like, kind of like a little tiny quilt, but it's like a wall hanging. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this into a wall hanging for my house because I love the Grinch. But, uh, yeah. So, that's all the stuff I need to show you. I'm sorry it's kind of all over the place. Like I said a couple of times, I'm not feeling the greatest right now. And my brain's a little scattered. <laughs> but now, oh my god, look at all this fabric. This is from Mary and a little bit that I purchased. Back there is some Christmas prints I'm going to make Christmas and July bags with. And then on top of my printer over there, let me, is the the Halloween fabric I purchased when I met, went to meet uh, Linda from Linda's Crochet and more. Uh, so now I'm drowning in new fabric. <laughs> I have a box down here of fabric that's been gifted to me and that I purchased a while ago that I've been trying to pull through. And I've, I've done really good at like um, using up a lot of that. But I still have a lot. I have a whole nother box of Christmas prints and a couple like 4th of July prints and uh, a couple fallish prints in there. It's like my holiday box. <laughs> um, I'm trying to use it all up and then I also buy more. <laughs> but I like buying some of the new prints when I see them. And I love when, when people gift me fabric because it's so fun to like, it's like a mystery box, you know. You pull out one piece and then there's another piece under there. It's like, ooh. <laughs> so I love it. And uh, I'm definitely going to have to make myself a bag with this handle, this pink handle. It's so cute. But there's a lot of it there. I haven't measured it, but there's a lot of it there. Anyways, now I can put all this where it needs to go. My spring green yarn is not going to fit in my green square up there. It is full. So it's probably going to have to go on the very tippy top with those pink yarns. But I will probably start using a lot of that soon because it's spooky season to people like me. So I'll be making some uh, Halloween things. And I need to just put all this stuff up so that I can have my table cleared off to start sewing. Because this week I'm going to be working on some regular bags, but also some Christmas and July bags. Um, to come out, what is next week? Next weekend is like the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, somewhere around that time. Hopefully by next weekend, but we'll see if I actually get them done <laughs> because of the kids. But anyways, I hope you, st if you stuck around this long, <laughs> thank you for me, um, you know, for listening to me bab a lot, but that's okay. <laughs> anyways, I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.